Tell me your side of the day down below. Mine's gonna be addition one, poor arm, arm off. I think it says it somewhere. There you are, you little arm off. Sterling Parfum, okay. All types of little stuff over here. Batch blah, blah, blah. 523, oh, you've been hanging out a little while, have you? Probably why I got a good deal on you. All right, well, I'm excited. This is supposed to be smelling like fierce. I'm gonna put it right here so I could just comfortably blur it out the whole time, actually. Let me just put it down here so I could just blur it out. I don't wanna offend anybody with this potentially vulgar bottle over here. Now, I saw this on Cubano, of course. Reason for half my flippin' collection over here. Like I'm saying, I should just start keeping a tab. When I bump into this guy, I'm just gonna give him a bill. Hey, like, hey, Cuba, this is for you. I expect a little Venmo. <laughs> I'm just messing around. I love these little fragrances. But no one needs any of these. Thank God I'm making these videos. Got my wife off my back. <laughs> all you guys that have joined the channel in the last couple months, I really appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. Appreciate all the support. You guys are flipping awesome. All right, there we go. A little sleep. I, I, I try not to rip my little boxes. That's why. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Boom. All right, now, of course, if you don't know what Abercrombie Fierce is, it's like one of the most legendary scents. Might as well check in on the classic right there. I'll, I'll block the nudity right there. Aromatic, woody, citrus, fresh, spicy, musky, fresh, earthy, powdery. Conifer, there you are again. Second time I've seen you this week. Conifer. Interesting. And sweet. All right. This came out in 02, and man, does it smell like flipping 02. I'm walking through the mall, going to Hot Topic, looking for like a Batman belt buckle, which I actually think I still have. <laughs> I should go pull it out. That'd be pretty funny. But yeah, interesting. I personally really like this one. Fur. There you are again. Lemon orange. What? Pettit grain? I know it's, it wants me to say, I think, petite grain, but isn't there another E on there? I don't know. Pettit grain, cardamom, sea notes, rosemary, lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, sage. I don't know about all that. This just smells like the mall to me. Just smells like the flipping mall. It smells like everybody I used to know back in the day. I don't know about all those notes, but, oh, this bottle's not that bad. Oh, damn, the AC turned on. Hold on, I gotta go turn it off. All right, yeah, this bottle's very interesting. I mean, this is like a little rubbery thing. It's like already attracting all the dust. You know, see? Yeah, look at this. That's so crazy. It's been out of the box like 12 seconds. <laughs> This is cool though, this is actually kind of nice, especially with the price, it's like $20. Cap is a little leathery, metally, but kind of plasticky also. Not bad, not bad though, not bad. All right, I'm gonna spray addition one over here and then I'll put Fierce on my hand. Only time it's gonna be the flipping first time and boy am I excited. Oh yeah, all right, two good sprays there, that was nice. Dust magnet, fingerprint magnet. All right, I like it smelled in the air. All right. Oh, this is nice. It's a little bit of a fruitier fierce, at least to my batch or something. Huh, interesting, very interesting, very interesting. All right, hold on, I don't want too much time to pass. Let's get a little fierce on there. All right, fierce. Damn, that's so weird. Man, fierce instantly puts me in that mold. And that's not even a joke, man. If you're around the age that you probably think I am, man, it just puts you right there. It's so funny. Fierce is such a scent memory. No, they're not smelling exactly the same. This smells like it has like, to me, like a little pineapple or something in here, but not exactly fierce. They're, they're, they're walking a similar line, but no, no, no more than 80%, no more than 80. At least not to my specific bottle of fierce right here. All right, let's go look up the notes for this guy. If you guys can hit that like button, I appreciate it so much. I love you, thank you so much. All right, here we go. Aromatic, citrus, woody, herbal, lavender, fresh, spicy, soft, spicy, powdery, fresh. When the heck did that happen? I just noticed it because it's all magnified in my camera right now. Damn, I'm gonna have to get a new little protecting screen. <laughs> All right, that kind of makes sense, kind of makes sense. Oh, and of course the little first suspect I see here is flipping Bergamot. Never have I seen a Bergamot in real life, but he's appearing in every single one of my fragrance. Who are you, Bergamot? I get it that I apparently love you, but it's enough already. Every day I see you, every day. Citruses, yeah, maybe a little grapefruit, but I'm getting something a little sweeter than grapefruit, not as pungy, yeah. Sage, lavender, cedar, sandalwood. This is nice, this is nice, this is nice by itself. This is just nice as a $20 grab and go fragrance. I I'm kind of thinking this might be a little bit of a Hidden gem right here. Huh, this is pretty nice. Especially if like Tarathi Blue get, goes on some crazy price kick again. Like, I'm not saying this is a real good alternative for Tarathi Blue, but it definitely gives you some nice citrusy vibes. And yeah, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. And the dry down, start, it's starting to smooth out too. The lavender is starting to come through. This is nice. And I'm going back to the Fierce. It's still a little bit different to me. Maybe I just have too much scent memory with this one, but it's just a, t a tiny bit different for me. A and maybe it's recency bias, but this is falling more into the Mahir Legacy vibe, Sedley kind of vibe, Tarathi Blue kind of vibe. That's right. That, that's where I'm getting it. Yeah, the, the Fierce is really fading away. Maybe Cuba had like an old batch or something. I got this about uh, eight months ago, so I'm not, I'm not so hip on all the batch codes and all that stuff. But, but yeah, maybe in some weird dimension, this is like a fierce mixed with like a Mahir Legacy kind of vibe. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I like it though. I like it. I like it, especially at that price point. This is $20. So a $20 when something's good and it's an arm off, that gets me pretty happy. That gets me pretty happy. Especially when the bottle's not total trash. Sometimes the bottles could be so ugly. Usually Afnan has some of the uglier bottles. But yeah, I just keep smelling this one. I, I like it. Let me know down below. Have you guys tried this? I'm very curious. I hope you're well. Subscribe if you haven't. Post your of the day and trap and I love you bye for now